Hello my beautiful Leos, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com here to bring you your monthly, mid-monthly uh, forecast for October 15th to the 31st. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing, I really appreciate it. And if you'd like more information, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can always go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. All right, let's jump right in. What's going on my Leos, romantic love life for October? 15th to 31st. What's going on, my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to 31st? What's going on, my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to 31st? All right. What's going on with my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to 31st? What's going on, my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to 31st? What's going on, my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to 31st? All right. What is going on with my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to 31st? What's going on my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to 31st? All right, let's see what's going on here overall here. So it looks like you have the magician. So it looks like you have an ideal situation or you feel like somebody has all the tools that you need. So in the current situation, there's something to do with some kind of longing or heartache here. And uh, maybe there's some kind of third party here with the, the three of swords energy. And this is because something has to be chosen here. There needs to be a choice that needs to be made. Yep. And there's something surrounding choices here. What's the blockage in the situation? Someone's confused about what they want. All right. Seven of cups energy. There's something to do with competitions or arguments, disputes, because someone's not isolated or separated with the tower card energy. What's in the foundation of the matter? Someone wants to fulfill their wishes, Nine of Cups energy. And um, there's something to do, the reason why is because something to do with some kind of sudden change or sudden upheaval pertaining to hanging out or a group of people or more than one person that someone's looking at. All right, so what happened in the past? Something to do with the Six of Cups energy, some kind of reconciliation with someone from the past or something to do with Secret Admirer. And or something to do with the past that somebody wasn't being honest about and there was some kind of deception there. And the mice is something to do with something that was taken away or something was taken or some kind of deception, excuse me, or worry and anxiety there. What's up at the head of the matter? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, obviously your energy. Patience when it comes to passion. And the reason why that's there is because something to do with someone who wants someone who, to rush something or somebody wants someone to cut something out. And there is some kind of harsh communication here because I see the birds. All right, so what's going to happen the immediate outcome here? So it looks like there's going to be an indecision with the Two of Swords energy about a choice. And the temperance shows me the reason is because maybe something is not an equal give and take and someone's been patient about it. And the lilies says something surrounding passion here or something to do with a long time. What's going on in the subconscious? Something to do with marriage, long-term commitment, traditional values is in someone's subconscious. And something to do with love here and abundance that someone's confused about. What is going on with the influence? There's some kind of passion or something to do with someone that's trying to gain some kind of strength. This is also your energy, Leo. Um, and the reason why is because they're burdened or they feel like there's a lot of weight on them or there's a lot of responsibility with the Ten of Wands energy pertaining to house and family. That's the influence of the situation. Family, house and family is the influence in this. So the hopes and fears here. So this is an Aries energy, something to do with someone taking control of a situation pertaining to an opportunity, some kind of potential opportunity here that seems to be the anchor. So that could be a hope here. So it's going to be the outcome for the situation. Wow, look at this. Page of Cups. So something to do with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So something to do with a message of love. What's this message of love about? Happiness. So there's some kind of message that's going to come in. It's going to make you really happy, Leo, or something surrounding a potential younger water sign person or something to do with a younger water sign person. And why is that there? Something to do with happiness because something stops or something ends. 
So there's a message of love or something to do with a water sign person pertaining to some kind of happiness. And because of the Ten of Cups being there as the clarity, I'm going to say that this is more or less something to do with stopping. Or, uh, yeah. So let's kind of drill down a little bit further and see what's going on here. All right, so we got the Page of Cups. All right, so there's a message that comes in or something to do with a water sign person and some kind of burden that seems to be the deal here. Some kind of burden on someone's mind. And eight of pentacles represents some, something surrounding work, school, apprenticeship here. So something to do with this can be at from somebody from work, school, apprenticeship here. And or there's something to do with putting some kind of effort in. So someone decides to put some kind of effort into the situation because also that whip can be an effort. And what's going on with this Ten of Cups energy? Somebody wants to be happy and make a wise choice when it comes to love. And they're using their intuition on it. Okay? So the reason why that, that the Page of Cups is there, that message of love is there, is somebody wants some kind of happiness. And the reason why that Ten of Wands is there, that burden that's on someone's mind, they feel responsible, is because they want to make a wise choice when it comes to love. And the reason why that Eight of Pentacles is there pertaining to work or putting the work in or something surrounding work is because someone's trying to use their intuition on the situation or they feel like something is secret here. Okay, so let's see why this coffin card is here. So something ends, okay, with the coffin card and the bouquet represents something ends and there's some kind of appreciation of a person. So obviously we do have the person and the outcome here. So what we need to do is give you some advice. Can I have some advice for my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to 31st? Can I have some advice for my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to the 31st? Can I have some advice for my Leo's romantic love life for October 15th to the 31st? So they're saying romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And you deserve love, Leo. So your advice is romantic feelings. You deserve love. You are lovable. And then actually at the bottom of the deck after that was worth waiting for. So it looks like it's going to be a good outcome for you. There's going to be some kind of appreciation. Obviously, there's a message. Um, this could be surrounding a work school or apprenticeship program or something to do with someone's going to put the effort in because they want to be happy here with the Ten of Cups energy. All right, let me get some work advice for you, work and career advice, please, for my Leos. Can I have some work and career advice for my Leos? Can I have some work and career advice for my Leos? Can I have some work and career advice for my Leos for October 15th to the 31st? So they're telling you to organize for your success and that you're going to be bountiful and that you should always speak words of abundance. All right, my Leos, if you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your month.